Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the metadata in your MP3 tags. You can do this to change the track name, the artist name, or whatever you really want to change. So what I'm going to want to do is go look up MP3 tag, which is the name of the software. Go download, quick download. Okay. Open it up. And I'll ask for permission, just say that you do a desktop shortcut and in your program files. Cool. So, pretty quick. Alright, so now it's on the desktop. So you're going to want to open it. And when I open it, it reads all my tag data for all my music really quickly. But if it didn't do that for you, just go to File, Add Directory, and select where your music is on your computer and then it'll download. Anyway, so here's the interface for it. It's really pretty easy to use. Um, if you want to do by al album artist or artists, what I have is I had a problem where a lot of my artists weren't matching my album artists and it was messing up my playlist queue. So if you look at this on the side, just keep an eye on this while I click around and you'll see that all these metadata changes. So that's all the metadata and you see how this ACDC is different from this one? I'll click on it, AC slash DC, which is what everything else is. I'll click save. So save tag in one on one files. And look, it's back to normal. Now, if I want to save a bunch of these, I just click one, hold shift, click all of them, and then you'll see title. And you can name them all the same title, which you probably don't want to do, so you'll use keep in there. Album, you'll keep that, you'll keep everything, which means they'll keep their individual. Uh, specifications. But if you want to change the artist name to testing one and click save, all the artist names just check the testing one, which obviously I don't want to do that. I want to go back to Tribe Called Quest. So I'll go back to Tribe Called Quest. But anyway, so that's a real quick way to change in batch all of your ID3 metadata tags for your MP3s. So let me know if you have any questions. Every one of these can be changed. If you double click it, then it opens up in whatever player you have. I just haven't had VLC Media Player. So I hope this helped you out in your current and future projects. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in the next one.